From caveman to modern man, physical fitness has always been essential to human existence. Back in 10,000 BC, there were no grocery stores or cars or cell phones. It was pretty rough. I mean, to survive, these guys had to hunt and gather food and hunt and gather food like non-stop. Then, some 5,000 years later, India developed yoga, the Chinese started practicing Kung Fu, and the Persians began building an army of super soldiers. Anyhow, shortly after came the Greeks, and these guys were super stoked about fitness. They loved gymnastics and wrestling and dancing, building naked statues, and the Spartans had some pretty seriously fit soldiers too. In fact, the ancient Greeks were probably the most physically fit society in all of history. So anyways, time goes by and society's all cool and fit and walking around like they're all tough and creating wars and then boom, the industrial revolution. Goodbye grueling country living, hello pampered city living. So there you have it, fitness was done, don't need to be fit anymore. No wait, that's not right, fitness wasn't done. Let's try this again. Boom, the industrial revolution. Goodbye physically fit society, hello cancer, diabetes and cardiovascular disease. Then along comes this guy named Jack LaLanne in the 1930s and he opens up a fitness gym and he starts to develop these workout programs people have never seen before. And these people are all like, wow, that's cool. Then Jack does a bunch of push-ups on live TV, nonstop for like 23 minutes, over a thousand of them. And people are all like, wow, that's really cool. Then Jack starts going around telling everyone that if they ate good food and stayed active, that they live a super happy, healthy life. And people are all like, I'm in. Hey. Remember in the movie Rocky IV where Dolph Lundgren was all like, I will crush you. And Sylvester Stallone was like, no you won't. Well, that's an example of what I like to call the Cold War of fitness. Between the 1950s and late 80s, the Americans and Soviets were like two kids in a playground trying to prove whose dad was tougher. Well, except the playground was a planet and they had missiles, lots of missiles. Anyhow, it doesn't matter who was tougher because the real winner here was fitness. Both countries pushed so hard to be the best at everything, including the Olympics, that new programs and testing methods for cardio endurance, muscular strength, and flexibility were developed, pushing us into the modern fitness era. Thanks, guys. And now, with Train With Me Online, the future of fitness is here. Whatever your station in life is, hunter-gatherer, Roman soldier, Olympic athlete, career person, non-career person, stay-at-home mom, dad, kid, student, Train With Me Online gives you access to the most up-to-date training methods that history, science, and technology have developed. So strap in, hold on, and enjoy the ride, because you're now on your way to the future of your health and fitness.